Hey girlies, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I want to be talking a little bit about, you know, what is happening to YouTube luxury. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in this topic, please stay until the end of the video. Okay, so girl, you know, even I, you know, I will I'll be honest, I was not in the mood to continue doing YouTube. Um, I was going through some things with my pregnancy and, you know, the fear of losing my child was just like overpowered, controlled me to a point where I couldn't focus on anything. So this is why I was thinking about shutting down and not never filming a video again. But you know, things changed and we are in a better space. I'm in a better place mentally. Obviously this is why I'm not quitting YouTube, but we are very well aware that right now we're going to a economical, you know, the world is going through an economical crisis. And obviously we have to be smarter with the way we spend our money. As for example, I'm a mom, I'm a mother, I'm soon to be a mother of two. And obviously I don't want to be in a position where I would, I could lose everything. The worth of money is decreasing every day and things with inflation, inflation, things are getting more and more expensive. And so I think it's okay, you know, to not be unboxing bags. I think it's okay for people to be like, Hey, I'm not going to be able to be unboxing bags every other week. So like, if my channel is mainly focused on unboxing, then I, I won't be able to do it. It's totally fine. It's valid. Um, some of us, you know, for another point that I will say that maybe this is why some people are quitting is the fact childcare, childcare is expensive. Maybe you are allocating your, you know, the money that you would in a bag into childcare or some kids are going to uni, you know, like people, uh, how can I say the, the world moves and changes. So it's like, People evolve, people change, and if they don't feel like spending their money reckless, well, I won't say recklessly, but if they don't feel like spending their money with every single bag that comes out, why not? Um, another thing, at least to me, I'm changing. And, you know, especially looking at my Hermes um, journey, like I'm changing, my taste is changing. I know what I like more, you know. I started YouTube at a point where I was just, you know, I had just given birth to my son. And so I was still like very weird on my body. Um, I still had my previous style, which was kind of sexy. I know a little bit sexy, but like still very much loafers and shirts, comfortable. Um, and now I'm really finding myself to like to wear comf like more on a comfy side of things. I'm not very much into heels like I was before, but then this is because I had an issue on my back um, when, I gave, when I gave birth to my son. And so it's like, I'm much more of a loafer girl and I've accepted that, you know, because sometimes we force to, we, we force ourselves into having a style that isn't ours because we find it cute because it used to be who we were, you know? So it's like now that I'm accepting who I am and coming into womanhood and being a mother of two under two, you know, I accept that I'm, I, I'm accepting who I am and where I stand in my um, life, where I stand in life right now. So it's like, if my child, my style will have to shift a little bit, you know, to, and, and, and I want to be comfortable because to me at the end of the day, it has to be comfortable. Whatever I buy, it has to be comfortable. It has to look good and it has to be comfortable. And with luxury, I don't have to have everything that comes out and, and I'm totally okay with that. So being a mom of two, me preparing myself to be a mother of two, um, you know, physically, cause I obviously I'm pregnant, but like, I'm soon going to give birth and it's like, why would I want another Birkin? When am I going to wear her? Like, I'm going to be with my kids a lot. I don't need, I have two Birkins. Like I don't need more Birkins. You know, I need bags with straps now. This is me adjusting. Okay. And I don't need to like, I'm not going out with them. And if I, for example, going out with two kids, small kids, why would I take a Birkin? Like I need maybe a, uh, Evelyn. This is how I got, this is why I got the Evelyn, you know, it's mommy appropriate. It's, it can get dirty. It won't be hurting as much, um, as I did. For example, when I went out for dinner, I went, I went out to the beach with my husband, um, while we were in Luanda and Oliver was pissed. So he threw spaghetti to my Birkin 25. Like, and, and it wasn't just any kind of spaghetti. It was spaghetti bolognese, you know, and we know that bolognese, there's tomato sauce and there is lots of lots of olive oil you don't want that like I, I just felt so dumb during that specific moment because why did i take that bag going out with a toddler who was eating spaghetti bolognese like why would i do that 
So it's like, you know, being more practical and getting things that I will use for now. I'm going to be a mom of toddlers for a while. <laughs> so it's like, girl, keep it real. Point, you know, what I think that is happening to luxury, at least to me, the fact that I'm not willing to take the essays advice as much because they're not me, you know, like they, they will propose you things. They'll be like, for example, I had my um, Chanel. Yeah, because I've been going to Chanel here quite often. I want to see everything because when I was living in France, I never really had a chance to get to see bags like I do here. And the essay from Chanel was like, oh, there's no jeans. Do you want to see them? They sent me a bunch of pictures. I saw them. But then I was like, wait a minute. With this big old belly, like, you're not able to fit in jeans for a moment, for a while. Have the baby and then start. You know, like, keep it real. You don't have to go and buy everything that essays propose. I have essays telling me from Hermes, for example, I had one tell me to go to the boutique on a specific day. I didn't go. Um, one, I wasn't feeling good, but two, like I wasn't ready to, to spend any money on that day. And just because they said it doesn't mean that I have to abide to it. Okay. Like now I'm, I have to be controlled and concentrated when it comes to money because I, I, my kids are, I have two kids now. So it's like, Oh no, I know my husband is probably jumping in joy, but it's like, it's happening to me. I don't want to be reckless. You know, like things can happen. You know, rainy days can occur. And so like, I want to be able to, you know, be prepared for those. So well. I don't have the feeling of a rush anymore. You know, nowadays I, when I want to buy something, I actually allow myself to think about it before. I don't think so guys. If I saw that in the store, if I really, really liked it, I was like, I wanted, I got it. I was just like, why, where are you going? Like, do you really need this item? I don't feel rushed by anyone. Even when I saw, I saw the Louis Vuitton um, show with Pharrell. Oh my goodness. That choir had me going. My son and I were both here in a room watching the show and he started singing joy too. I was like, look at you. And I was seeing so many pieces because I'm, I'm a huge fan of men's wear and so seeing the bag seeing everything but i didn't call my essay to 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 request any of the kipals plus they i think they're kind of expensive to be honest and, uh, we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do it no ma'am i don't want to quit anymore <laughs> um but i also won't be unboxing a lot i won't be doing all of that you know i actually don't even know how to pivot how the pivot will work but yeah, I just wanted to, to, to talk about why I almost quit. <laughs> okay guys, um, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.